Hi, I'm Steven. And I'm Amy. Today we're going to share Steven's PCR results from when he was first diagnosed in 2011 until now. And right now it's been 2.5 years, two and a half years since he stopped his drug and been in treatment free remission. Just a reminder, the PCR test for the BCR able gene, which is what causes CML. We want to emphasize that everyone is different and everyone's results will be different. This is not a competition to see whose numbers are better or to see who got there the fastest. We're just sharing my numbers because sometimes it's interesting to see the differences of what everyone experiences with this disease. We're gonna see that he's kind of had a range of numbers and sometimes his numbers would go up a little and then, you know, and, and that's always, you know, scary or concerning, causes anxiety. I, personally, I would get sick scared if I saw numbers going up. So, but you kind of had a different view on that. Right, I think what I've learned and kind of believed in is that the key is the long-term trend of your PCR. If your PCR is going down, that's the most important thing. And even one time if it goes up, one test result is not a trend, especially if you've had five, six, or seven PCR results already. So one test result is not a trend. Just repeat it again in three to six months and see the direction there. If you are concerned, you can always have a PCR done earlier. The doctors will tell you that really that, you know, it can bounce around a little bit, especially as your numbers get smaller. In the beginning, you should see some big declines, but then over time, you know, you might see some small increases. And again, you have to look at the long-term trend of what, which direction it's going. And as long as it's going down, the belief is that it doesn't really matter when you get to certain, certain milestones. milestones. Mm -hmm. The key is that you continue to improve every time. And there were also some other times with your PCR where things were just very, um, like you had kind of hit a plateau. Like they weren't yeah. really going up or down, they were kind of staying the same. Um, and I think there were some years with that as well. Right, they definitely flattened out for a little bit at times. and. You know, but that's the thing's just the normal course down. It's not a straight line down for sure. So we've referenced how there's certain milestones with CML and you can see, you will see that Steven didn't meet certain milestones within the recommended time, but he still ended up in treatment free remission and he's still doing great. So um, let's all stay positive and have hope. Hopefully seeing his numbers will kind of show you just kind of the variety of what different people experience with CML. I was diagnosed with my PCR greater than 100%. This continued for the first month after diagnosis. At the three month mark, I, I was under 10% at 8.5%. As a reminder, the goal is to be at under 10% after the first three months. In year two, my PCR continued to decline. By the end of year two, I was below 1%. In year three, I dropped all the way down to 0.6%, but then three months later, I went up to 0.2%. These fluctuations are normal, especially at low levels of PCR. What is important is the trend continues down over time. In year four, I continued to get close to zero, but not exactly at zero. After flattening out at year four, we started to get more serious about our health by following the HEAL mindset, that is focusing on our headspace, eating, activity, and lifestyle. I took up yoga in year five, and that finally got me down to 0%, which first happened in January of year five. After being at between zero and 0.1% for five years, at the end of year nine, I was finally able to go in cessation. For the next two and a half years, I maintained that 0% PCR, although I did have a couple of times where it was less than 0.1%, but my doctor says that that is essentially the same as 0%. Researchers have believed that having a PCR less than 1% is the gold standard and your chance of survival is very good. In addition, if you're able to get to MMR or major molecular response, which is a PCR of less than 0.1%, this may diminish your likelihood of having a relapse. Now, if your numbers aren't there right now, please, please don't be scared. So as long as your PCR continues to go down, we want everyone to please have hope, okay? It does take time for your numbers to come down and, and it is hard to be patient, but understand that, first of all, everyone is very different, and but that these drugs, and for the most part, do work very, very well. So maybe Steven, you can kind of share. Right, so it took me about 18 months to get to under 1% and almost over almost two and a half years to get to MMR or less than 
everyone's experience will be different. The biggest and most important key is that your PCR continues to go down from test to test. Now, even if you have a slight increase from one test to the next, one, P one test is not a trend. It's really important to see the direction your PCR is going over multiple tests. And usually that will continue to go down, which is what we want to see. So even though it took him that long to get to those um, milestones, MMR, for example, he was still able eventually to go to be in cessation and to go into treatment-free remission. If you would like more videos about CML or healthy living, please subscribe. Thank you for watching today. Together, Together we heal. heal.